A new Hunawarn has been released, and the Chinese Navy's Type 003 aircraft carrier Fujian will return to Jiangnan Shipyard on April 1 after completing its seventh week-long trial voyage. According to the frequency of the previous trial voyages of the Liaoning and Shandong ships, it is estimated that the Fujian ship will be delivered to the People's Navy after two or three more trial voyages, so we are sure to see the Fujian ship joining the Navy's combat sequence this year. There are three subjects that are most notable about the Fujian ship, one of them is the well-known, long-rumored, but never actual hammer China's first sea electromagnetic catapult test. With the fifth and sixth test voyage of Fujian ship, its flight deck has appeared black tire tire marks, proving that the carrier aircraft has completed the touchdown reflight subjects. But for the time being there is no news of the implementation of electromagnetic catapult test. The Fujian ship sailed, coupled with the Ministry of Defense press conference. Our spokesman could not restrain the upturned corners of the mouth but also let the outside world think that this time our electromagnetic catapult test is 9 out of 10. Secondly, according to the satellite pictures, the Fujian ship's trajectory was found. According to satellite pictures, the Fujian ship conducted maneuvering tests in Boahai Bay, including the implementation of a number of consecutive S-type routes, small radius turns and so on. Judging from the satellite images, some of the turning radius may only be about twice the length of the carrier. This proves that Fujian ship has strong maneuverability. Its power main engine and rotating shaft system has reached the point of perfection, reflecting China's large surface combatant ships in the development of the power system, has a fairly high level of technology. The third is based on the second extension, in some pictures of the Fujian ship, we accidentally found in the Fujian ship's hull side, a cloud, so many people are speculating that the Fujian ship is not the whole ship anti-shock explosion test. Of course, this statement was soon found to be unable to withstand scrutiny, the area of this cloud is too large. A rough measure of the words, roughly equivalent to the length of three hulls of the Fujian ship, if this is the explosion of the smoke cloud, meaning that the explosion generated by the smoke cloud to reach a diameter of more than one kilometer, only 2,000 tons of nuclear explosions above the equivalent, it is possible to produce such a large diameter smoke cloud. Therefore, after a short discussion, military fans reached a consensus that this is a floating over the Boahai Bay, a lone cloud, only by chance was photographed into the field of view, became the Fujian ship embellishment. But just such a detail led to a topic, when will Fujian ship to implement the whole ship impact resistance test, the whole ship impact resistance test actually, how to implement the so-called full ship impact resistance test, as the name suggests is mainly to verify the ship in a particular case of impact resistance. After all, in modern naval warfare, Surface ships are generally affected by a variety of impact forces. One is the water impact, including a variety of air weapons, surface weapons, especially water weapons such as mines and mines and the underwater explosion generated by the impact. The second is the hull impact, including a variety of weapons directly hit the hull of warships after the impact. The third is a variety of reaction force, such as the battleship era battleship's large caliber main gun launch on the hull of the ship to produce a strong reaction force. In so many impact forces, the hull of the ship itself when firing the ship's weapons to bear the reaction force is relatively small. In the previous era of battleships, the multiple turrets of a battleship firing in unison could easily cause thousands of tons of reaction force, and the force was so great that it could even cause the battleship to be displaced laterally. However, by the end of World War II, the main guns of battleships were of smaller and smaller caliber, coupled with the design of highly efficient gun retraction buffer systems, the reaction force of modern ships, when firing naval weapons had basically reached a point where it was not necessary to take it into account. Hull impact is worth impact testing, but as a combat ship it's obvious that you can't verify this using destructive methods. After all, you can't really pull out an active ship and blow it up with anti-ship missiles and aerial bombs just to do a full ship impact test, it's too expensive. The only way to validate the ship is to wait until it is decommissioned. For example, the US Navy has used the retired Kitty Hawk class aircraft carrier U.S. for a full ship impact test, the use of anti-ship missiles, torpedoes, aerial bombs, etc. repeatedly bombed it, from which to obtain the full ship impact performance data. These data can be used to verify the design of the ship's impact resistance and provide an effective reference for the design of subsequent ships. Therefore, in the case of the hull impact resistance test is difficult to be carried out in active service conditions, change to an water impact resistance test is a good alternative program then how to formulate the corresponding technical specifications of the whole ship impact resistance test, what technical preparations should be carried out before implementation, and which stage of the ship's whole lifespan, 
will be implemented in general. Generally speaking, before the implementation of the ship-wide impact test, first of all, carefully calculate the amount of explosives and explosive equivalent. After all, if the dosage of less to play the effect of the test, if the dosage of more that may be directly to the hull to crack, a test of the whole ship into the shipyard dry overhaul to go. In short, to be able to verify that the structural strength of the hull reached the corresponding design indicators has been sufficient. In the technical preparation stage, the test ship is generally required from the explosion center between 100 and 300 meters, the hull deck is generally empty. The ship should be pre-impact preparation. In accordance with the current U.S. Navy, the French Navy announced the ship's impact test screen. Before the start of the test all mobile items inside the ship are required to be fixed up and even the display are affixed to the tape used to strengthen. To avoid the impact of the display rupture after the debris injuries, then the whole ship is required to anchor or float. After the completion of the impact test to record the relevant data, electronic equipment and weaponry and so on one by one restart to see if the situation is normal. So that basically complete a whole ship impact resistance test. As for the whole ship will be in the life of when to carry out impact test, in fact, this is not much regulation, different countries and navies of different types of warships are not the same. For example, the U.S. Navy's full ship impact test, Burkai class has been to 1,994, after the service of the number 3 ship to carry out the impact test, Burkai IA is in 2001 for the impact test. The Ticonderoga class didn't even have its first impact test until the 7th ship, in 1987. The Nimitz-class carriers were not even tested until the USS Roosevelt, the 4th ship, in 1987. As for the Ford-class aircraft carrier ship impact test, it is delayed again and again, and finally until 2021 to complete the ship impact test, before even once rumored to have cancelled this test intention. The Chinese Navy is similar, our first full ship impact test occurred in 2014, the test object is still the old 051D destroyer, currently confirmed. It seems that the 052D destroyer has carried out a full ship impact test. As for the 055 large destroyers and aircraft carriers, there is no news of the impact test, and it is not clear whether the follow-up is ready to implement this test. In short, there is only so much information that can be mentioned about the Fujian ship's seventh test voyage. The Ministry of National Defense has hinted at our first electromagnetic catapult. Satellite images show a test of extreme maneuverability at sea, and at the same time, Everyone is treating this cloud as a possible implementation of a ship-wide anti-impact test. Only if this is true, then this is not just an impact resistance test. It is more like the legendary Castle Bravo operation. As for whether the Fujian carrier will subsequently implement a ship-wide impact resistance test, it is not clear. Our primary focus now, or when Fujian officially open carrier catapult test, plus the official commissioning, and that's probably it.